In today's uh, webinar, I'm going to show you how to use Nova, the web application, to submit your NAV quarterly figures. Um, the webinar should take no longer than 10 minutes. And what I'm going to include in today's webinar is logging in. Um, I'm going to include um, a little walkthrough of the user interface. I'm going to include um, how you actually report your NAV, NAV figures on a quarterly basis. I'm going to show you how to insert comments based on your reports. Um, I'm also going to talk about spotting variances and how those variances in your, your numbers are flagged. And finally, I'm going to talk and remind you about your ongoing obligations around submissions. So let's get started. The first thing I want to uh, show you is the, the front login screen for the Nova application, where here you can see you, you are asked to include a username and a password. And for the purposes of this webinar, I have some test data and some test information which I'll be using to um, guide you through this webinar. It's also important to remind you that um, if you are a uh, market data services customer and you um, need to report your NAV figures, that a welcome letter would have been sent and an account set up for you in order for you to access uh, Nova. So let's get started. Um, so you can see here I've included a, um, a nav test username. I've also included a password which you can't see. And should you have forgotten your password, there's a link at the bottom of the password screen here which you can go and enter your username and have that sent to you. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, you can also see there's a red bar at the top of the screen with a whole bunch of um, bits of information you won't be seeing that in the web application that you'll have access to. This is purely just a test environment. Okay, so if I log in, um, so provided you have a web browser that's connected to the internet um, and that you have a Firefox browser, a relatively modern version of the Firefox browser, or Chrome, Google Chrome, and anything from Internet Explorer 8 and 8 upwards, you will be able to access and over the application. Um, failing that, um, I would suggest that your IT systems uh, upgrade your, your current internet experience um, so that Nova can work. Okay, now that I've successfully logged in, and bear in mind that if there's no activity on the screen for longer than half an hour, it automatically locks out. Um, the first thing you can see is we've got the JSC logo in the top left-hand corner, and we've got... Um, uh, for the purpose of the demonstration, you can see my username that I've logged in, and you can see that I'm logged in, and a button alongside that that allows me to log out should I be finished with the application. If I scroll down the screen, I can see here that I've automatically been uh, sent through to the NAV reporting screen, and on this screen, uh, I'm going to just widen the screen slightly, you can see that the capture figures for the current reporting quarter is the screen that I'm on. And I can see, for the purpose of the demonstration, I've created a customer called JSC Nav Client. This is where you would see um, your company name listed over here. And then below that is a table of information. And this information is the important information um, whereby you will include or insert your NAV um, numbers. And these are values or numbers that are reported as of the last day of the quarter that you're reporting for. Um, so if we go through this, we've got an account number column down the left-hand side. And in this instance, the account number is all 182. Um, alongside that, you have the product description. And these are the products that form the, um, the funds to which you um, are using the, um, the data services from. And you can see these are grouped with ETP and retail under index tracking. And then if we move along further along along the, uh, the third column, we can see that these are, um, well, this is the area that you would insert your values or your numbers. And you can see that if you look at the heading, it's for quarter two reporting, which is the value as at the 30th of June 2013. So with your reporting in areas, this is effectively um, the area that you report for your quarter one actual values there, there on the last day of quarter one, which is the 30th of June. Um, alongside that, in this particular instance you can't see, but um, where you may have recorded your quarter one figures, you would have a list of your values alongside you so that you can sanity check against what you're going to include. Um, 
And as I say, in this account, you can't see that, but the numbers will literally be recorded adjacent to each of these products. At the bottom of the screen, there is a button to submit your figures. And once you have inserted the figures into these fields and clicked to submit, you should have confirmation that your figures will be sent through to the JSC for processing. Um, should you try and attempt to submit your quarterly figures without including any uh, values and you try and submit, um, you will find that you'll end up having a error message which will tell you that you need to include a figure. Uh, when you log in for the first time for each quarter, what you will see is a screen that looks a little bit like this. Um, that is, there are no numbers at all in the relevant quarter. So you are then asked to include numbers. And as you can see, as I start typing the numbers, the, the number values are formatted in such a way that your commas are inserted in the correct place. Um, and so if I just enter in some test information here to show you, you can see that now I have all my numbers uh, carefully inserted into this quarter's um, NAV report. And when I click Submit, um, my data will be successfully submitted to the JSC for processing. Um, I also talked about uh, the feature of you being able to insert comments, and you can see that for this particular product here, the uh, SAPI ETF tracking fee, um, if this figure had changed at all, or if there was any information relating to the, the reporting of this figure, there's a button to the right of that figure that allows you to um, click on that um, and you could insert your comments here and these comments are comments then if you click add um, you can see your comment has been inserted over here I can obviously enter as many comments as I want and I have a maximum of 250 characters and once I've got a comment in there you can see straight away that the uh, comment icon has changed to reflect the fact that you do have comments and post it to this product um, and once you're satisfied that that comment has been posted and you click submit your values will then including your comment will be posted through to the JSC for processing um, if for example you come into the uh, the Nova system and you begin editing this these products and by mistake you forget the numbers and you lose track um, there's a button at the bottom of the screen that says Reset Data, and if I click on that screen, I'll be asked whether I want to um, submit any of my the data, but of course in this instance I don't. I want to revert back to the last saved amount, and if I click OK, the screen then reverts back to what it was when I arrived here. So pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was um, where variances are, are detected and for the purposes of NAV variances is a notion whereby if your values change by either 10% either above or below the previous quarter's report or there's a variance of more than 5 million rand then the figures that you enter um, when you click out of the cell and it's not obvious just yet in this video but the numbers that you see here turn to red and that's really just a visual indicator to let you know that those figures are outside the normal values or the variance values for um, your typical reporting for that product and so really it's there it serves um, just as a, a flag to to uh, warn you that the figures are, are somewhat out or at least they they sit in cell of variance um, the last thing that I wanted to show you um, was just to uh, around all your obligations um, you know that part of your obligations around reporting is that for quarter two reporting um, the reporting um, is available from the 1st of July even though your these values represent the values of the 30th of, Ju of June um, reporting effectively opens from the 1st of July until the 15th of July so that's just a little over two weeks and in that time you're able to log into the system and post your quarterly figures and submit those to the JSC. If in the um, if there's a situation where you're unable to report your figures, um, the reminder will be sent uh, five working days before the close of the quarter just to remind you 
um, that your figures have not been submitted. Um, and if those figures are then subsequently not submitted for whatever reason, um, the uh, value will automatically be transferred um, for that quarter. And um, that value, if incorrect, will need to be adjusted and a billing adjustment occurred at a later point. So just to remind you about your obligation, you are obliged to report um, your quarterlies from the first of the the first month of the following quarter to the 15th and as of 15th South African time midnight it closes you will not be able to get into the system and update those figures so please make sure of that okay thank you that pretty much sums up um, what I wanted to show you in this webinar and um, if you have any questions please do contact uh, the NOVA team you can contact them at NOVA that's in OVA at jc.co.za. Thank you very much.